Hey guys, Larry here. Huh. I kind of pissed off at how many people are under this politics spell. Uh, it's not going to make a difference which rich asshole bastard you elect or think you're going to elect. It's not going to make that much difference. Uh, it's like all these guys that are running the world are straight up evil. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't, sorry, they don't give one flying flip about you. Oh, we're going to do this and that. They ain't done shit for years. It's going downhill like a snowball headed to hell, one of them old country bots said. But if you think electing, wouldn't it be great if we had two men running for president and, and you could debate about, man, this one does this and that, which one was the best? And like I could sit down with dad and say, but this guy is so good and this and that and this. And dad would say, but the other one is so good at this and that. That ain't how we do it. We sit down and we say, which one's the least evil? We're going to have to pick the, the, the best or the, the, the least evil of two evils. What? No, I wish I could just say a prayer and bust this spell that y'all are under and everybody just pull out from the election. Quit giving them your load. Just pull out from the election. Say, you guys ain't... You guys have been messing it up for two generations. It's we just we the people are going to do it ourselves. Let the small towns and communities come together. And well, you know, Brown County's road sucks. You come through Adams County, good roads or good stuff. It's up to the people. You know what I mean? Locally, we we've give all these guys that we never meet, don't know. They got all our damn money. They're robbing us blind through the Federal Reserve System. They, they just took, I mean, just do some fucking research. Look into some. Quit watching TV. If all you do is watch TV, Lord bless their soul. Ah, you know what I mean? They are robbing us blind. The governments and the rulers, they waste so much money and they rub each other's back and stuff each other's pockets and bribes and oh, what do they call that when they bribe a politician? It's legal. What do they call it? Lobbying. What's that like a lobby lizard? Like a lot lizard? You hang out in places and say, hey, I'll give you this. And they're like, oh yeah. <laughs> money is the root of all evil, folks. There's enough money. Money ain't even... Actually, next year, money's going to be done away with. Done away with. No more cash. You're going to have to have digital care. And I don't have a bank account. I don't pay taxes unless I buy something at the store, which is enough. I buy gas. I was reading. When I buy a gallon of gas, freaking half the money goes to the state and government. What? Taxes are off the hook, but I don't pay income tax because you don't have to. There's no law that says you... I figured that out seven years ago. I ain't paid taxes since Obama got a $500 haircut. Yeah. Because I still pay taxes back seven years ago. And I owed like 300 and some dollars. And I was going to like shut the TV off. And I forget what I was going to do. Something that wouldn't be cool. And then I seen on the news where Obama got him a $500 so pissed. I'm like, the hell with this. And I ain't paid the, I ain't paid no income tax since. They send me that stuff in the mail, I thought it was trash. Hey, YouTube. You hear me, don't you, big brother? Probably won't even upload this video. But when, I wish I could just go mirror, mirror on the wall, which now it's magic mirror on the wall. Look it up. It's crazy. The Mandela effect. There's another thing that people are denying. In the Bible now, it don't say the lion shall lay down with the lamb. Huh. Isaiah 11 4. There's ministries, pictures. There's things everywhere. The lion shall lay down with the lamb. There's figurines. There's lamps. There's 
murals. There's ministries named after it. Look it up now, Isaiah 4 says, and the wolf shall dwell with the lamb. And that's what's going on, my friend, in these C5013 churches. The wolf is dwelling with the lamb because they made it a business. Church should never be a business. That's the only time my Lord and Savior got upset when they was, uh, I'm making church into a business. He didn't, you know, it, it says, oh, he went in there and turned the tables over and scattered their money. And, and man, I bet that's the only time Jewish guys ever left their money and run. Jesus must have been very intimidating. But you know what? He didn't break the tables in pieces and beat innocent people over the head with the table legs and, and then burn the synagogue down. No, he just went in and he flipped their tables and said, this ain't right. You ain't going to make my father's house a den of thieves. Just doing it for money. Blah! Oh, I left the church. I was a youth pastor, and they asked me to present my uh, tax forms to to make sure I paid my 10%. I said, look, I'll probably give you all 20%, and this ain't right. I'm out of here. And that's when I quit going to church. And I I'm, I, I probably handled all wrong. I was I was young. I was working 80 hours a week at times. I had three houses going. I was helping build a church. And all these idiots, they got me a block layer that was just... <laughs> Oh, the first block he laid was a quarter inch off the line, and I kicked it off there, and I said, if we start this wrong, if we start wrong right off the rail, we'll never finish right. And then it was just, oh, it was a trying time in my life, but I made it through it. I thank God for everything. If I mash my thumb, I thank God for it. <laughs> it makes the devil mad. Yes, sir. But I wish I could just say mirror, mirror on the wall, make these guys get out of this election. These. <sighs> Please wake up and get out from under his spell. Voting. And I'm just saying, the way they're doing these mail-in ballots and the way 2020 is and how everybody's just at each other's throat. I mean, it's in the Bible. It's like the people that have love in their heart are getting more love and they're wanting to save up food for their neighbors. I mean, I got enough food to feed me and my neighbors all winter. Can you say that? I mean, I'm not bragging. It's just what it was put on my heart. I'm like, I'm not going to be able to get down past the driveway and these, this woman with these three handicapped children are going to be hungry. What? I ain't going to do that. No. I pack a gun so that anyone in my vicinity is protected. I don't depend on a cop. I appreciate cops and I'll back the cops up. But if you're in my presence... I got your 10. I got your 6. You see what I mean? We need to get back to taking care of each other. I'm self-sufficient, so I hope they don't, you know, cut my head off immediately because I got survival skills and building skills and mechanical skills and I can weld and on and on and on. And if I can't do it, I can figure it out real quick or I got a buddy I can do it. I mean, I've went into jobs, and they're like, can you do this? Like, give me some money. I'll, if I can't do it, I'll find someone that can. I just got to have some money. Wait till there ain't no money. <sighs> well, I just wanted to get on here and just, what do they call that, have a rant? Because when I go out in this world, and I, I'm almost at a point where when I see someone in the, with a mask, I'm like, are you sick? Well, you're going to be. Keep wearing that dang mask. The trees are mad at you because you're not doing your part. You're not giving them back your CO2. They're giving you oxygen, and you're being selfish, and you're, you're, you're taking their oxygen, and then you're keeping the CO2 to yourself. That's not the way God designed us. Fear not. 
Who told you you was naked and needed a mask? Satan. The television. Television. Idiot box. Television. Television. And the thing is what helps me is I understand that it's a spiritual battle and it's to God Almighty and Satan and all this wordplay and numbers and everything, there's no way a man could do that. It has been Satan planning this shit since he got Eve to take a bite out of that tree of knowledge fruit. It's not an apple. It wasn't an apple, folks. It was the fruit from the tree of good and, and good and evil knowledge. Read it yourself. <coughs> ha! But the joy of the Lord is our strength. So when you feel yourself getting agitated, which, you know, there's, there's a time and place for everything. And time and chance happens to us all. Yeah. Please. Quit a hating on each other because you like this one guy that's going to rob you better than this other guy that's going to rob you. It's like y'all sitting in the living room and and uh, one crook comes to the back door and one crook comes to the front door and y'all in there, instead of getting a gun and sticking them both of them's face and saying, get the hell out of here, y'all fighting over who you should let rob you. Straight up politics. From my country, mine, and you know, I don't have a PhD in psychology and uh, graduated with honors and and got all these degrees and work at Walmart. That ain't me. I've just went to work in the construction. I went in the Navy, been in 10 countries, 26 states. I've, I've seen how different cultures live. I've paid attention. Huh. But I don't work at Walmart and no one's made me wear a mask. I ain't worn a mask yet because you can't even catch a virus. You can't catch a virus. No. <sighs> it's it's from the junk food you eat. It's from your diet. It's from your if you work where you have to use chemicals. It's from if you're cutting concrete dust and breathing it, it's if you're working around asbestos, it's if it's what you're taking into your body. If you're drinking soda pop, if you're drinking alcohol, smoking cigarettes, whatever you're putting in your body, I mean, you can literally go up to someone that has this flu and is just, oh, and you can lick their snot and snort it and you won't get sick. It's all good. You can't catch a virus. A virus is what your body does when it's cleansing itself. Just like nature does every winter. And that's when you do it. If you take in too many toxins, you eat too many. Eat, eat shit out of a microwave all the time. When you microwave, you know you can microwave water and then put it on the counter. Let it cool. Don't put it on. And water your plants with just that water that you microwaved and then that cool. Freaking plants will die. Because it ruined the water. Waters. I could go on and on for hours. The things I've learned this year. And and then when you try to tell someone something, they're like, what, what, no, you're crazy. You're a conspiracy theorist. And I'm just like, wait a minute. Did you know gravity was a theory? The theory of relativity? Uh, the globe is a theory? They ain't proved it. Space theory, uh, just everything, germ theory, the whole way they do this medical thing anymore. It's a theory that uh, Louis Pasteur came up with. Runt our milk. We should have been drinking straight up cow milk right out the titty. Boop, 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 boop. No, real butter. Parquet in this margarine is plastic. When you digest that, it turns into plastic inside your body. It's horrible. 
We need good fights. Mm -hmm. But basically everything, you should go watch How Big Oil Conquered the World. How Big Oil Took Over the World. How, James Corbett. How Big Oil Conquered the World. There's two of them. And if you can set through that documentary with an open mind and not, you need to pray, really say, don't let these trigger words get me. Because there's trigger words. Like if I say, flat earth, whoo, your eyes glaze up and stuff. Mandela, glaze up. Chemtrails, you get stupid. There's just certain words. I mean, like, I don't know what word they used to get everybody to buy toilet paper, but it worked. I mean, I, I watched it happen. I went to Walmart and recorded it. Oh, it, was, it blew my mind. It proved to me right then that this MK Ultra simple mind control, it works. The media, everybody watches TVs, movies, video games, just TikTok, he's short. They've got everybody's attention span. Just boom, boom, boom. It's this video is too long. A lot of people won't watch it because their attention span. They're like, oh, I ain't got however long it's been. 16 minutes. Probably won't even post it. YouTube probably won't even let it post. The YouTube truth gods. That's another thing. I could post any kind of god-awful content I want on my channel and YouTube be like, yeah. But if you... Post the truth of Jesus Christ and what's really going on. The algorithm, gods, AI, Satan, YouTube, they delete. That's right. I love you guys. Be born again and just hold on, you know. Be good to your brothers and when you mess up, get up and pray. The Lord told me to forgive my brother seven times seventy in a day, so... Say so he's obligated to do the same thing. Just don't abuse it. Get over it. Try to get through it. But don't ever give up. Later.